The Diancis Antiscope Monitor provides objective, scientific monitoring to improve P-STEM therapy and enhance the opportunity for cure. Treating a patient is straightforward and quick. Patients must fast for at least two hours prior to the initial consultation. Eliminate all food, exercise, smoking, and liquids except water. The initial measurement of their ANS health will take less than 10 minutes. Advise the patient that this is a procedure to measure the health of their ANS. Prepare your workplace with Ansyscope, an Ansystem, the Ansystem locator, and the Ansystem tester. Assure that you also have prep and stay, cotton tip applicators, sterile tweezers, alcohol pads, and scissors. When the patient arrives, determine from the initial consultation that the patient is a candidate for P-STEM therapy with Ansystem. Turn on the Ansyscope cradle first and then the display unit. Set up a new patient in the patient record. Measure the patient's weight and blood pressure and record these in the patient record on the Ansyscope. Measure the autonomic dysfunction Note, this measurement is not permitted for patients with pacemakers. In a quiet room, position the patient comfortably on their back. Shoes and socks are okay as long as their ankles are exposed. Attach electrodes to the ECG cable lead and place the electrodes on the patient's wrists and ankles. Select the ANS measurement icon. Select the autonomic dysfunction icon. Choose Existing Patient and search through ID, patient name, or address, and select the patient from the search list. Select the Start button in the AD home screen. Observe the heart rate, RR interval, and remaining time of the test. Leave the patient in the room and return at the end of the test. Select Export Data to save the results in the patient record or select Redo Test to repeat the measurement if necessary. Select Exit to leave the AD screen. Measure the 30-15 ratio. Select the 30-15 icon. Select Existing Patient and search through ID, patient name or address, and select the patient from the search list. Push the Start button and immediately have the patient stand. Select the standing button and results will be displayed on the same screen. Select Export Data to save the test results in the patient record. Select Exit to return to the ANS Measurement submenu. Press Return twice to reach the Ansyscope home screen. If dysfunction is greater than 35%, take a preventative interpretive ECG. If the patient has cardiac problems, Consult with a cardiologist before beginning treatment. Prepare the Ansystem needle locator. Switch on the device. Press the probe tip to the grounding strap to assure the locator is properly functioning. Assess needle placement strategy. Select the chronic pain icon and then the learning training icon. Locate the points on the ear using the P-STEM Treatment Guidelines icon. Select either the Symptoms icon or the Human Image icon. For additional points, select Auricular Therapy Guide and choose the specific ear map from the flowchart. Place the Ansystem Locator grounding strap on the patient's wrist. Prepare the ear. Thoroughly clean the ear and behind the ear using an alcohol pad. This will remove oils and dirt that may prevent the Ansystem control module from adhering to the skin. Apply Prep and Stay to the area just cleaned. Prep and Stay extends wearing time, maintains excellent adhesion, and electrical contact. Locate the first needle by pressing the locator tip on the ear. A low pitch sound indicates a poor location. A high pitch sound indicates correct needle placement. Mark the point using a sterile or surgical marker. Repeat this procedure for the remaining needles. Monitoring the ANS for assessing sympathovagal balance. This measurement is used to monitor the progress of the treatment 
and also to optimize ANSYSTEM needle placement. The leads are kept on during the entire ANSYSTEM procedure, which takes approximately 10 minutes. Pre-placement balance trajectory, ANS monitoring function. Select the ANS monitoring icon. Choose existing patient and search through ID, patient name, phone number or address, and select the patient from the search list. Check the lead placement screen. Select the Start button in the ANS Monitoring home screen. You can view the 4D ANSIGRAM heart rate and other parameters. Press ANS Index. In about 30 seconds, you can view the sympathetic, parasympathetic, and balance indices. Select the balance to view the balance trajectory. Choose a priori to save the balance trajectory before ANSYSTEM treatment. Prepare the ANSYSTEM. The ANSYSTEM comes individually packaged. The parts are stacked in the order in which you will use them. Push the batteries into the holder to make contact. Remove the paper strips and attach the top cover. Test the ANSYSTEM on the ANSYSTEM tester to assure the device is in good working order. Place the ANSYSTEM. Position the ANSYSTEM control module behind the ear with the wires pointing down. Press and hold the module for 30 seconds to assure proper adhesion to the skin. Placing the needles. Tap the ANS index on the ANS monitoring display. Glance at the SIM level displayed. Mentally note its location. Apply the first needle at the previously marked location. The SIM level should rise and then drop back to the original level prior to needle placement. Ask the patient if they are experiencing any pain. If the patient is in pain, move the needle slightly to relieve the pain. Repeat this process for the remaining needles. Taping the ANSYS stem. Cover each needle with the supplied oval adhesives. Cut the tegaderm tape into two pieces. Position the first piece over the ANSYS stem control module. Apply the second piece of tegaderm tape over the wires. Post-placement balance trajectory. Leave the patient in position with the needles in place for a few minutes. Select the A posteriori to save the balance trajectory after ANSYSTEM treatment. Press the stop button to end the measurement. Select exit to return to the ANS measurement subscreen. The trajectory will reflect patient improvement over the full course of P-STEM treatment as it moves towards the parasympathetic. Remove the electrodes and let the patient relax. View the results. Select the patient record. Choose existing patient. Search by ID, name, address, or phone number and select the patient from the list. Choose patient details and select patient information to view the demographic data. Then go back. Select patient registration details to view all data saved in the patient record. Then go back twice. Select chronological medical record. Select the treatment per the treatment number and date performed. Select ANS Monitoring and press Choose Record to select the measurement based on the time of day it was performed. Press Export Data to save data as a PDF. Exit the screen. Select the Autonomic Dysfunction icon to view the dysfunction percentage, balance, and graph. Press Export Data. Exit the screen. Select the 3015 to view the graph and 3015 ratio. Exit the screen. Press the Export PDF to transfer all data, including ANS, AD, and 3015 in PDF format to Airstash. Select the SOAP note. Press the SOAP note history to find all patient SOAP records. Then go back. Select the graphical representation to view the graph of all the treatment. Then go back.
Select the ANS monitoring profile where the ANS graph is seen for all treatments. Go back to select the patient tracking form. Select patient tracking form history to view all patient tracking forms. Then go back. Select the balance. View the balance trajectory before treatment. Recording the Ansystem label into the patient record. In the second box, select Scan. Choose the Take From Camera option to initiate the camera. Select the front camera to capture the Ansystem label and press Save. Crop the label image using Gallery and press Done to save the label image. View the balance trajectory by selecting a file in the balance trajectory after treatment. Go back. Press the comparison balance icon to view the comparison of the balance trajectory before and after each treatment. Go back. Press the export PDF to transfer the entire patient tracking form to the AirStash external memory. Final patient instructions. Have the patient wait at least 15 minutes to assure they are pain-free and not experiencing excessive discomfort. During this time, present the empty Ansystem box to the patient. The box contains test protocols including instructions to not wash their hair and keep the device dry while bathing. Remind the patient to be careful with the wires while grooming. Instruct the patient to notify the office of any problems during treatment. Tell the patient exactly when to remove the device. This is typically four days or 96 hours after placement. Schedule their next appointment. Side effects, overstimulation. There are no side effects from P-STEM treatment. However, some patients may experience adverse symptoms from overstimulation. These symptoms may include dizziness, nausea or vomiting, headaches and excessive perspiration. Highly effective non-narcotic pain relief is now available through the combination of the Diansys Ansyscope HRV monitor with Ansystem. Point stimulation, P-STEM therapy.